Yo, what is going on guys? Cryptic TMG back with a brand new video today. The new update for Le Mans Ultimate is out. We've got Circuit in the Americas and I'm going to try the track for the first time and see how it goes. I'm going to jump in the GTE and see what the track feels like and compare it to other versions of the track on ACC. So yep, yeah, let's get stuck into the video. So here we are with Circuit in the Americas. Man, I do actually like this track, particularly on ACC. It is one of my favorite tracks. So let's see how it feels in this game. Um, going to be my first try. We're going to take the Aston. I think I believe also as well they did actually change the bop per track for the GTE so let's have a little try and see what it's like um definitely want to sample this track and compare it to ACC because obviously on ACC is a track that I know well and um yeah <laughs> I'm, I'm imagining it's gonna be pretty difficult particularly with no ABS there's a lot of tight corners that you really have to focus particularly on this game to not lock up the tires. But anyway, let's see what this car is like when we get on track. A little bit worried about locking up a bit too much. It definitely feels like more, more bumpy than ACC. One of them about LMU is the car is a bit more forgiving over the curves. Oh, 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 oh my God. Wow. Okay. Can't push the car too much into the corner because the back end definitely is going to struggle to stick with it. Okay, what's hard is that in my memory, my breaking points are sort of learnt from ACC and you definitely cannot break as late. I can almost feel the, the back end trying to come round on me. Even go up into quality map. There isn't a no quality map anymore. What the? Okay. So they got rid of the quality map. Definitely very bumpy. Uh, probably broke a little too early. Right, let's try and push it. You can really feel the edge of grip. Like you know when you're on the limits of the grip, you know? Much nicer over the curves in this game than ACC. Okay, definitely broke early, struggled to get the nose in. Aston feels pretty nice here. I wonder if it's um, the BOP is decent. I'm breaking so early for these corners, man. Gotta learn the braking markers. This car feels pretty nice around here though.
206 feels pretty slow let's see if we can go a bit quicker oh 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 my god wow now that is definitely going to be a problem <laughs> and that's that's what i like about lmu it's like if you push it over the limit there is a punishment for that you know um and you can you can watch all the best drivers on this game it literally happens to the best drivers even you know the moment you go over the limit or the moment you maybe don't downshift in the correct way the back end comes around and you have to you pay for your mistakes man you know, there's no, there's no slamming on the brakes or anything like that. Because if you think about it logically, in a real car, even if you're just driving down the street, you never put your foot all the way down on the brakes just to get the car slowed down. You gradually, you know, you gradually put your foot down, and that's technically how it should be. But um, so far, the track it feels nice, man. It's a nice track. It's definitely extremely bumpy. The curbs do seem quite forgiving in terms of. You know, on ACC, if you catch a curb wrong, I would say the curb going, when you take the right hander at the top of the hill and go left, that curb is definitely more pleasant on this game compared to ACC. ACC is less bumpy, I would say. And in terms of grip levels through the S's section, ACC, the cars feel more planted. Um, with this, you can almost feel if you turn too much or you put too much steering angle, you can feel the back end will try and get away from you. So if you're coming over from ACC to try this, just bear those things in mind because there, there are subtle differences. But in the end, it's quite, the track's pretty much one-to-one. -one. Everything is, in my memory at least, exactly where it is on ACC. It's just, you have to just get used to your reference points being a little bit different with no ABS and stuff like that. But definitely enjoy the track, man. Um, I can't wait for the, for the, um, the GT freeze but what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna try the hyper cars which I never try but I want to see what they feel like around this track and what a higher downforce car feels like around this track now we are in the Ferrari um, hyper car now I'm gonna tell you guys honestly I don't know nothing about the hyper cars bro literally I don't use them the only time I did use them when the game first came out they were extremely difficult to drive I didn't even understand them I still don't really understand them now but we're going to try them out. Let me try and see if I can change the camera or something. No. Can't change my camera. Let's see. There you go. Let me try to push this forward, man. It's kind of in the way, this uh, the side of the car. We go up a little bit. All right. Okay, that view's decent, I guess. Now, I've not driven a hypercar in months. Months. So, <laughs> I don't know what to expect. I really want to I really want to try and get into it, though, because I see a lot of guys like Michi Hoya, Simoncic, seem to be having a lot of fun in these cars. Wow, downforce. Whoa, bro. Okay. <laughs> oh my God. The bumps are a different animal in these things. Obviously, they seem to be running lower to the ground. Wow. Literally just bottomed out. Yeah, you can't take as much curve in these things, I don't think. Oh, okay. Damn. Okay, locking up is very easy. I think I'll definitely have to change my steering ratio to use this in the future. Wow. 
Wow. Bro, they're tricky. Might take me a while to get used to. Wow, even bottoms out on that curb. Okay, yeah, for sure we'd have to change the steering ratio. In these cars, you really can't see the apex of that corner. Oh, I locked up again. Oh my God. The hypercars are fun, man. Yeah, I think you definitely want about, I would say, 360 steering ratio. of bottoming out over them curves. Wow. We, we definitely need to make some changes, I think. We we'll definitely need to make some changes to the setup. Um, for sure, I would say, steering ratio-wise, you would definitely have to change it um, from the GTEs. I'm going to say right about 360 because it doesn't seem... It, it's not as reactive as it should be, but man, they're definitely, definitely fun. And I think I'm going to start doing more races in the uh, hypercars, man, because it is definitely something different. And the, the, the downforce is just so much nicer through the corners. But again, there are trade-offs. The curb compliance is not the same as the GTEs. Let me get that straight. It's nowhere near what the GTEs are able to do when jumping over curbs, but guys i'm telling you i know it's dlc already and a lot of people didn't want to pay for dlc and stuff like that but in my opinion it's definitely worth it if you're you know thinking whether to buy lmu or not in my opinion it's a game worth having because as i said before loads of times before there's tons of potential and you know i only see this game growing but anyway guys this is a quick little review of kota um Definitely like and subscribe, hit the notification bell to catch my videos first. Remember, tomorrow I will be streaming on Twitch TV, so be there for 7.30pm UK. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit, man. Peace!